Okay, we keep working on it. Now, I placed everything else. And now, we're gonna keep placing other objects. Where am I looking at now? <laughs> or come on. <laughs> come on. I can I can choose it. Okay. Now. So we keep filling it like this. Pipes and other stuff now. So let's find maybe maybe I can use it. No. I just want to use completely clean flat hmm. I don't have something like this I have no plain pipe yeah this this one is completely plain yeah. Oh, right. Make it better. Make it bigger. Create face attributes. And now I'm not stretching. What is this? I'm not stretching the textures as you can see set origin to geometry and now 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 can i choose the camera please okay so we have a pipe pipe group actually there is no one pipe there this is the clean face of the pipe. So I just need to use that side. So it's coming from this area. And our version is correct. Just a little bit big like this. Another one is smaller yeah after that by the way i can change my mind if i don't like the result which i'm not that happy with this looking um what should i do hmm. It's, it's too crowded, okay? It's more than I want. So what can we do about that? Let me check. Maybe I can make them smaller. Yeah. We need to make an improvisation obviously first of all i want to delete all the textures on it and maybe i can have just color like this because it's looking so dark of course my version should be dark so something like this Maybe a little bit red color. Yeah. It should be metallic. That's better. Yeah. I'm just looking again. Hmm. <laughs> what you think it's little bit 
uh, risky because it doesn't make sense to have some crossing lines here. Let's make another one. Hmm. I'm not a fan of this kind of crowded here. Maybe I can have only one eye, but no, no. So let's find another solution. I changed my mind about it. Okay. I don't want to use it. Beside, there's another uh, interesting shape here. I don't have to place every, every piece I see here. No, of course not. So let's find another position or make another crowded area here. Maybe let's let's try. I just need more um calm place, okay? This pipe shouldn't be in the and in the uh, focus so focus points. Let me try. That does make sense. Or it's interesting shape, right? This pipe is coming from inside of this building. How realistic. Can you imagine a pipe in your house like this? Little bit rough. Yeah. I'm just checking because I need to uh, change the pipe because I need textured pipes like this. Let's have this pipe maybe here. Now it's completely squeezed uh, the focus point, the contrast, and I don't want to decrease the contrast point so much. Okay, uh, maybe I can I can keep it like this. We still have some areas here, and I like to have little bit pipes <laughs> yeah that that looks better okay i i'm moving so carefully as you realized because you don't want to have um, unwanted crowded, okay? That's 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 not a good idea to spread all of your objects into the scene without making any plan. It's it should not a, a random crowded scene, okay? Every object should have some some kind of objective and i'm just thinking about it so we have these two big pipes like this and i don't want to lose lose details there so maybe oh it's opened. 
What if I use it like this? No. Okay. Maybe just like this. Anyway, I'm just going to keep it like this. Okay. Now, what can I do? Which is just place the fences to the next building. Just bring this. We're going to place them here on this building. I'm looking from the top view. Rotate it and make it a little bit bigger. One here. Oh, I don't need to have it rendered view. What I'm doing? Come on. Yeah. Just make it bigger. Okay, and I can use another one. Even though it's gonna look blurry, but I, I prefer to have some something like this. There's no harm to it. Okay. And bring those interesting one here. I want to have this one here. Come on. Come on. Oh, now I'm looking at as isometric view. You can fix it here. Come to view and find find perspective and orthographic. Okay. We were looking from orthographic and I don't want that. It didn't ask me to do it. Okay, now those things are blurry, but I'm okay with that. Yeah, and we have these windows. I won't touch it. We need to have railing here. Thank you for your help, but what children yeah bye bye goodbye not collection select group children and delete it without any problem okay now oh yeah now i need to Now I need to have railings here. Let's bring our objects. Okay. It's going to be fast. Just hide it. I want to have one here and mirror in x global and maybe we can match 
this corner like this. Yeah, that's that's better or not. Yeah, this is better. Of course, we need to match the lines. Come back again, please. And X global. Now I need to connect them like this. I'm going to use snap to vertex and duplicate it. Yeah. What? 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 I'm pressing shift R and it's gonna repeat the duplication. Shift R is um, repeating anything you did. Okay. For example, I, I'm moving it here. Shift R is repeating it. It's going there. Okay. We have this empty space. I don't like it. I wish I could have small portion of it to fill. But it will be will be enough for now. Now I can take a group there. Just fit it there and we can have it. Okay, it's done. <laughs> oh, I need one more railing here. Just like that. Okay. Alt H and everything is back. Select camera. Now I'm checking. It's fine. What else we need to do? Okay. Maybe I can have these metal pieces here. It's popping up from this building. So let's see what can I do. I have an idea. Immediately I found out. What if I use it as like this? Right? Just use your imagination. I'm always saying that. So we have... We have... Um, what is this? Maybe I shouldn't have it. Do I have to? Just make it so close. Again, I'm not a fan of this one. All right. <laughs> let me try let me try another piece which is this one Ooh. come on just like that make it longer it's coming to this point. Isn't it too much? Okay, anyway, I'm going to stick with the plan. We'll see the result. And... Maybe I like it at the beginning of this placement, but I might be 
I might be sad at the end. So I'm a little bit confused about the position. Maybe I should check it with rendered view. Yeah. Nothing has changed. Nothing. Go. Maybe you can stay there. So it means that it's time for making my own crowded. Okay. Which I'm, I'm not happy at all. So it's time for use completely our imagination for this crowded task. Okay. My suggestion is having it just like that. Or, where are you? Dude, where are you? Shit. What are you doing there? Come on. I still can't choose it. Are you kidding? <laughs> are you kidding? Okay. Now, I'm gonna choose you. Don't move. Okay, that's that's kind of better. Let's try vertical and horizontal. Which is better? Yeah, I will I will use it like this. Yeah. And set origin like that I want to try it like this yeah I'm I'm happy maybe just like this just a little bit extension there and and I'm gonna have more bigger piece here to have Come on! Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm just gonna have it with this piece here. Let me check. Yeah. But, of course, I, I don't need this piece here. So, it's kind of natural looking here. I should, I should hide this empty space here. So let's be careful. And oh, maybe I can have these pipes here as very big, just like this. Now it's a good texture on it. Okay, let me try and I can have this bridge as as come on sure. Come on, come on, come on. Faster, faster, faster. Okay. Now I gotta use this because this one is metal and bridge has stone texture. I don't want to have stone, which is not my piece. <laughs> Still, I can choose it. Still, it's not possible to choose it. Okay. Let's make a... Let's make something like this. Yeah. That was I was trying to do. Now, I'm checking it again. We still have this empty area. So, what can we do, which is, I'm going to cheat. I don't want to stretch, but I have no chance. Okay, just stretch it and hide that place. And 
if I can choose this part, do you remember this? It was looking like a machine or something like that. Okay. Now it, I think it's looking like barrel. And I like it. No, I don't like it anymore. I'm sorry. I don't like you anymore. All right. Oh, maybe I can use these railings here to make it more crowded. Just have it bigger. Rotate it 90 degree and place it there. Now it's looking like a pipe. No, 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 no. Okay, that's another simple touch, which I'm okay with that. And just I want to see you less. Okay, not that much, please. All right. Should I delete this piece? I'm checking. Yeah, I don't want you here. So we have so cool area of this life side. Yeah, there is a chaos here. We can understand what's, what's happening here exactly. I even myself, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea about this place. So let's keep placing these fences here. I don't want to have it open. Why would I keep it open? Yeah. Probably this this area it has tons of thief. Yeah, you you expect um that kind of situation in these dangerous places so i think that people always trying to protect themselves from thieves and other dangerous people you don't want to live in in that much danger i don't know it's kind of, you know, what do I know? <laughs> what do I know? Maybe you want to live in this topic times, ages. I don't, I don't prefer it. Oh shit. Oh, that's that's interesting adjustment. I know, but I I got to check. Are you looking fine or not? Okay. Yeah. That works. So, what am I gonna do for the doors? I'm just gonna generate metal door with me journey and I'm gonna bring that texture here now. And that's all. That's all we gonna have door. Okay, I prepared tons of images for the rest of the scene. Let me bring it here. Image as planes. So the first object is metal door. So let me explain something here. Uh, I'm usually making PBR uh, textures for this kind of plane images with materialize program. So I don't want to use it uh, this time because I have no time for it, but uh, it's so easy. Just check it uh, on YouTube for materialize. Okay. 
you're gonna use uh, this software for making PBR textures. I'm gonna make it on another uh, series, but but not this time. I'm trying to be fast. So I don't want to use it like this. First things first is I don't want to use it like this. Okay, now I'm gonna make it just like that, metallic. Okay, now just a simple trick for Shift H. Just add edge loops here, here. We are trying to make um, some kind of depth. That's all. We're just trying to make it look interesting. Mm, here, here, and one here. Yeah. Oh, I forgot that. And the bottom part. Okay. Now I can select these frames here at first like this okay now I can extrude it just a little bit and I can push it to inside and pull it to outside we have this kind of depth here and let me see what what else we can do for example we have these bolts here so it's not necessary but you can spend your time with it You know, we're just trying to make it a little bit more interesting. Okay. Now, there is a problem here, as you can see. Alt, Shift, and left mouse button. We chose it. Just find the metal. What was that? Metal door. Yeah, this one. And I'm going to just cube projection and find similar texture and our problem has gone maybe you can use it vertical sure just just keep it like that and I'm selecting them cube projection and that's gone. Okay. Hey, be careful. For this time you can match it with the actual actual piece like this. That also works. You got the point, right? Okay, I gotta fix this one too. And place it there. Now it's looking fine. Same operation here. It's a little bit rusty. And I'm gonna choose this last point and oh i i found another one here sorry make it bigger as much as you can and yeah we have a metal door okay that was the first door here 
of course you can use it multiple times it it didn't fit here but yeah i can use it like this just i'm just gonna leave it like this okay so what else i have let me show you i have a metal window it's more like a hatch or something just keep it there what else i have metal window yeah let's prepare it so this time of course obviously we have windows which should uh has reflective materials right but how can we do it with only one image so this is metal window tree right so i need to have two same object same material with metal window three metal window three and this one gonna be roughness okay and this time i'm just adding edge loops on it Just make it quick. I don't want to lose time. Go, go, go. Okay, everything is fine. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a simple trick. Okay. Just have it reflective, maybe a little bit metallic. And this time I'm choosing the reflective one and assign it and the other one, the other ones, let me check please, I need light, go, 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 okay, as you can see, it's reflective, but of course everyone is sharing the roughness object material i'm sorry assign it for everyone for the base color and after that choose the window parts and assign it for roughness so you have let me let me show you you have reflection on windows and you have base color and uh, not reflective materials on the frame and one more one more uh, operation which is extrude now you have more uh, realistic object here without uh, working on substance painter i prefer this this method most of times There is no harm to do it like this. It's all about making a illustration or 3D object. Q projection and where is my window? Metal window three. Yeah, you are the one. Okay, now it's looking perfect let me show you okay everything is fine yeah did you see the reflection and the frame so you can place place it here or wherever you want we have this window I can use it one more time. 
but not that much I just need to have a couple of more variations otherwise it will look unrealistic we don't want that so I have another window of course which is one metal and again dirty window I'm making the same operation quickly no one here one here come on one here it's so simple right you can use you can use this method for any object like this we're gonna make buildings which is ready so metal window 4 is base color just remember what we are doing so metal window 4 but duplicated as roughness and now same things again by the way you can prepare oh let me sh let me show you on photoshop okay or we don't need that i just generated uh um i forgot that i generated image in mid journey yeah i remembered and it's stain and uh ink drops and something like this let me show you the image uh, so it's this one it's black and white you can prepare in photoshop or you can have a texture like this with me journey and other stuff and uh yeah it's dirt so let me show another method for making reflection you can where is my roughness this time you don't want to use it um metal window 4 instead you're gonna use the dirt like this let me show it to you in where is it it's no it's no best color go here leave it okay now let me check please nothing is changing here what's happening what's happening oh of course i didn't assign it what a, what a stupid mistake right okay just just okay roughness yeah you see it now what's wrong with you okay we have this oh right right i deleted the base color come back metal window 4 and plug it there yeah now as you can see we have complex um dirt mask here <coughs> As you can see it's uh, it's not plain you have different kind of things here of course you can invert the dirt um, image you just need to add invert invert color plug it now it's more accurate stain areas it's not reflective and there are a couple of reflective areas here which is perfect right so it's way more realistic you can have it like this too okay just a simple trick so i'm gonna hide it again you can find you can see the stain texture here just like that right it's a simple trick you can apply it anywhere you want and now uh, we're gonna make same trick 
maybe this time just a little bit and fix the inner problems I'm selecting all at the same time and cube projection where is my texture here okay make it bigger and have it like this and yeah everything is fine and yeah that's better so we have this cool looking window and my daughter is crying then place it here just like here and okay so let's have one more time but a little bit bigger and oh and as you can see it's it's cool looking result but it's blurry where is the focus point yes yeah, something here so yeah maybe a little bit sharper yeah that's the trick you can make quick windows and other stuff and you can easily use it everywhere you want like I did just make it like this it's too big we don't want that okay now we have door and let me check this one yeah you can also open this door and add some uh, myst mysterious uh, feeling here maybe something is happening inside you know oh that's creepy so i need one more door here for this one image as plans where is my other door metal door 2 all right now we have this it's also very very cool metal door we're gonna make same operation and where is the edge loop this time it's a little bit tricky okay it's our window here by the way let me show you another trick that trick is i'm gonna use knife for these curves yeah you can exactly have something like that but you will see the result now so i'm showing you how to not to do it okay let me show you i applied it now i can't add edge loops anymore because i just destroyed the the clean shape of it so it's not possible to add um, edge loop anymore so just keep it for the last action okay 
you need to add everything you you need like this make everything edge loops ready like this and you can knife everywhere you can yeah that was the trick i just wanted to show you the problem it's it's happening for beginners oh right yeah i'm gonna extrude this piece too okay just have it like this extrude here and now it's tricky part i just need to extrude this piece here select this one i'm not i'm not choosing this extra piece because it's gonna make it look bad so i'm extruding it little bit what's wrong with you which is back face calling so go here where is this where is this yeah did you see the problem it was alpha blend and i'm changing blend mode as now it's opaque and the problem has gone okay you gotta keep keep that in your mind if you have some problems like this it's always because of this blend mode for alpha blend and opaque so we solved another problem and keep extruding it okay we, we have this now my daughter is screaming yeah now it's extruded like this and and now we have this extrusion i'm pushing it to inside pushing them no i'm just gonna pull them outside and this one yeah we have lots of different extrusion here and for the last last part you can add the final touch which is the knife just having like this and okay we have window and just push it now we have interesting metal door so of course we need to fix it and that will be ready for for the scene so i'm choosing everything here projection just like that we gotta find the metal door and it's not that one metal door too oh yeah my mistake 
you are the right piece so i think yeah this is the correct face cube projection make it rusted it's the correct face again and let me check there's another um extrusion here just like that and fix this one fix this one yep and this one cube projection and that's okay yeah we have the door ready except the window reflection you remember the process new one metal door and duplicated like this as roughness okay we're gonna keep it and just decrease the roughness i don't want to use stains on this one you got the point okay let's take back all the stuff yep now we have door here I can use it here as it's just like this little bit stretch you shouldn't stretch your textures for any purpose don't stretch it okay now that's also fine we have we have this let me check we have these doors maybe i can have it a little bit open let me try this side will be better mm. i can open it like this but What you think? Hmm. Maybe it should stay like this. Okay. Now we're gonna add a couple of buildings to backside, which I have, which I have huge apartment. So. We're gonna have a uh, same operation, but I don't wanna waste your time with it. And I'm gonna make it myself now. Okay, now I prepared it. Let me show you. It's looking like this. And we're gonna select this balconies. Oh, I forget that. <laughs> these ones, I forget these steps. Here. Yeah. Rest of them is fine. Now we're gonna choose this balconies here. It's simple. Selecting it. I'm selecting these windows as well. Like this. Ooh, 
no, no, no. Oh my god. I don't want to waste time. Okay, just leave it like this. I forgot that. To slice it. Whatever. Just whatever. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna fix it myself again. Okay, finally, I selected everything just like that. And that's simple to again. Maybe a little bit deeper. And we have this. You can fix it. <laughs> you can fix it if you want, but this time I wanna I wanna pass it, okay? Change it to opaque and that's fine. That's enough for me. And bring the back, bring all objects back. And I'm gonna use it multiple times because I spent lots of times for it. So, in our version, where is the building? In our version, I'm passing the skyscraper with this building here. So, it's something like high rise and... Oh, let, let me show you another trick to make a completely four sides building okay just reset it what am i changing dude where is it okay okay now Just have it like this and duplicate it, rotate 90 degree and I'm just placing it like this and mirror X axis. Did you see? It's of course rough. It's not clean and you don't want to use it in your in in front of your camera actually, but as a background object, you can easily use it. No one can detect the problems from that distance and blurs. It's safe to use like this, okay? And join them we have a building like this all right so now as you can see it's perfect but i want to use it there maybe it's more taller than we thought where is my camera Okay, just delete it. We have high rises. I need to check it in render view. Now I can fill the background with this building. Hmm. What if I use it in a big way? I gotta try another one, but this building supposed to be high rise. So 
let me understand the height maybe there and it disappeared you can fix it by first full this one and after that just like this now you can see it and ps like this oops oh my bad select select and select and join them maybe maybe like this so why am i using it like this let me show you i'm gonna use volumetric scatter just like this so it won't be possible to see the uh, bottom part or first floors of the building when i apply it just like this and new material delete this volume scatter and plug it there and it's not working nice yeah what was wrong with you so we gotta change it carefully increase increase the density a little bit more oh. <laughs> my cat <laughs> he sh she is she's so bad she's so bad cat she knows when i'm recording and and actually i was planning back like this but no not like this maybe something there okay we can cancel that building just have it bigger and I will have only one and depth of fields yeah now I need to try uh, sunlight okay yeah it's something like this I just need that shadows yeah and I need a foggy uh, background image here but we can we can make it on on the next episode and probably it's gonna be the last episode because you know we we made tons of things here in one episode and probably it will be ready so what if i use it on top of the building it's looking weird or we can use it there just like this or we can have it here mm. we 
can have it in the street. Come on, dude. Where are you? Where are you? Okay. You know, maybe I can use it like this and duplicate it. And I can have cables. What do you think? Hmm. No, I'm not happy with the results. There's no way to use it like this. No way. Okay. What we can do. Maybe we can have it there. In a huge portion. No. Again, no. Okay. So let's make it bigger and add color ramp. <clears throat> color ramp to color and I want to change it like this let me try it here Oh, that's too much. And I couldn't decide. I'm not sure how to use it. Maybe I can try other options. Linear. B spline. It's too dark. Okay, it's not gonna work with it. And Okay, I tried a couple of options and worked on it and maybe maybe this version works better. These are the settings just like that. It's like a it's like a ramp, okay? Now I'm trying to hide these buildings. Maybe lighter, maybe bigger, or something like that. I'm trying to hide the bottom part just like that. Okay? That's what I'm trying to do. You can hide it with Photoshop, of course. 
but it's possible to have it here as well. You can change the color like this. Maybe it's like a dirty, um, dirty pollution. Like this. And we have polluted area environment. And it's it's looking fine. That was what I'm trying to do. I don't want to see the uh, bottom part and ground uh, due to what was it pollution, and that's now better. I exactly, I exactly want some kind of weather here, just like that. Okay, it's now, uh, it's letting me show, see, I'm sorry, it's letting me see the contour or, you know, outlines, and that's enough for me. Now, this time, we can have that kind of silhouettes here, like buildings, apartments, like that. Now we can understand that there is a high rises there. We have high rises and buildings and other stuff, but these are only uh, silhouettes now. You can achieve it with this volume scatter. Okay. We have this good background here. And my girl is explaining something. Maybe this, this one is bigger and closer to us. Like that. Or not. It might be not a good idea. What if I turn them like this? Is it better? I'm not sure. Yeah, I want to have it just like that. Go too far. Just stretch it. Okay, now it's completely fine. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, and we have lots of buildings. I just need another one. Something like here. Yeah, that's fine. So... We have pollution here, but of course, I need to use another one for close distance. <laughs> My daughter is explaining something. Okay, now I can name it as pollution and I want to lock it because I don't want to select it every time now we have this one just make it smaller just for the street and it's gonna be small one here okay you got the point just make it bigger have it here but of course I I don't use it like this. Just copy this one and change it like change it like this. Yeah. 
Yep. Give me back. Give it to me back. Okay. Yeah, that's better. But we lost the backgrounds. So let's find another solution. Just change it. Let me show what am I doing. Okay, squeeze it. Place it exactly where I want to use. We still can see the background. Increase it. Yeah. Little bit more and I'm okay. Okay, we can make it in Photoshop for these places. It's not that much important. So, a little bit less density and I am okay. Without it, with it. Without it with it just just a little bit okay right now yeah we made lots of good progress today and it's almost done it's going so cool We'll see the result at the next episode and probably it's gonna be the final one. And I'm I'm so happy with the progress. I hope you find it same way with me. I didn't like that. Okay. Look at this. It's a polluted area with bad bad air and lots of dirtiness and it's so sad place actually i feel sad about this place let's see the result at the next one okay see you